Okay, so here we've got the finished installation of the Victron inverter charger, Quattro inverter charger on Elizabeth G. So what we've got is underneath here, we've got a large bank of six volt deep cycle uh, batteries, 420 amp hours. And the power comes from there to this 400 amp fuse. Then it goes up to this little battery protector. Now, if you haven't seen these before, these are fantastic devices. This will mean that um, if the, for any reason, the charger isn't on, or there's no power um, on board and the batteries are getting too low, it then cuts off um, all supply until the voltage comes back um, to protect the battery bank. So this little device, which costs around a hundred pounds, um, can be cheaper if, the, if you get a smaller one, uh, that protects your batteries completely. So hugely worth um, the investment. I think every boat should have one of these. Um, you can have an alarm set up with it. I've got um, a remote control switch, which is over here. So you can just switch the batteries on and off with a little switch. Um, <coughs> and uh, you can also have it set to do other fancy things, but that, that's basically the essence of it. It protects your batteries. So then the power comes into the Quattro inverter charger and provides up to five kilowatts of inverted power. It actually provides up to 10 kilowatts of power just momentarily and uh, for like an instant load or something. And it can also um, boost the uh, power from shore power or the generator power. So the shore power input at the moment to this, uh, the shore power on this boat is just a very small amount of power. So it comes in here, shore supply, and we literally just have a 13 amp socket. So that goes into the Quattro ch inverter charger. <coughs> and the, um, this you can then regulate in the software so that um, it doesn't draw more than 13 amps on that feed. But then on the other feed, which comes from the engine room, uh, from the generator, this feed can draw up to 20 amps. And if we uh, run a bigger cable in the future, then it would actually be able to draw, um, well, up to a full 120 amps uh, and charge at that rate. So that's hopefully something for the future. But for now, um, it still charges and works perfectly just with the software settings reducing things back. And then this unit has an output to um, an AC, to supply AC when there's um, either shore power or generator only. And so that's connected to this little battery charger. And this charges the wheelhouse batteries for the radios and um, navigation equipment. So the moment that there is AC power going into the, the Quattro, um, it starts charging here. The moment that the AC power is off, like for example overnight when you're on um, only on batteries, then you still have the inverted power, but it's not trying to charge through the inverter. So you have inverted power for the fridges and freezers and for the sockets on board. So there you go, that's the installation on Elizabeth G.